Hey y'all, hey, y'all know me, dropping in to spread a little tea, and you know how we do it, so let's get right into it. Okay y'all, Oh, girl released a video tonight, well episode tonight, um, and someone DM me her episode, I'm gonna call her Miss Ma'am, and I was listening to the episode and I just could not believe what I was hearing. Like, I, I was like, wait a minute, hold up, hold up, hold the hell up. What? Miss Ma'am's, when, when, when Miss Ma'am was asked why she decided to go public with the situation she was claiming to have been in, she replied and said, this is what you said, honey. You said you was tired of hiding things. And once something became broken, it forced you to put it out there to the world. Once something became broken, it forced you to put it out there to the world. Then you went on to say that and you done it because you wanted to stop uh, Robert and your father from arguing. And you figured if you if you put it out there, they would stop. But it didn't. Hold up. That's not the way it played out on social media. So, zoop, rewind. No, I'm not. Do what you do. I'm way up here. Do what you do. Yes. It's clear as day that your dad and Robert were not arguing. We heard you yell, Dad. That's when your dad came up from the basement, looking confused like he didn't know what was going on, asking Robert what happened. Robert started explaining to your father what happened and that you were on the phone with the police the police the dad said dad like what the police why she do that so it was no argument between your dad and robert before you call the police and that's what you tried to make it seem like and i also put it out there to the world because him and my dad were arguing and wouldn't stop and i thought that would make him stop your dad looked like he was asleep he was clueless to what was going on. Now, I'm not saying that they did not have an argument after that, but that footage we seen, there was no argument. As a matter of fact, it looked like your dad was on Robert's side wondering why you would do this. That's what it looks like. Moving forward. Miss Ma'am, as you got deeper into your story, you started talking about things that he did to you. You said it went from dragging to choking, and once um, it started to be broken bones and swelling to the head, then that, that was enough. That's when you knew for sure you had to leave. Where the hell did this come from? Am I in the twilight zone? Can somebody please help me understand? Where did this come from? Have y'all ever heard her say this? Like... Why are you saying these things? This is what you told us. It's from I don't know what, but none of that happened to me. I never had a black eye. I've never been thrown into a wall. None of that stuff. So when I say six years, I mean emotional and mental abuse. As people do arguments all the time. So when people, when I keep seeing this narrative of woman beater, woman beater, woman beater, I'm like... Now, I ain't say he damn pushed me down the stairs and blacked my eye and kicked me in the back. <laughs> and, you know, people just took it way too far. Clear as day, you're saying you didn't mean physical abuse. You meant emotional abuse. abuse. And then it's, it's, it's really, really weird how you said, I didn't say he, like, done this and done that and kicked me in my back. But in that previous text that uh, that's before that video where you and your sister was texting, your fake sister, you said exactly that, that he kicked you in your back. I'm wondering how many people was in on this with her. Like how many of her friends knew the truth, but just went along with what it was she was saying. I really want to know how many people was in on this bullshit with Miss Ma'am. You said exactly that. 
in this video that we just all listened to. You said you did not mean physical abuse. You meant emotional abuse, something a lot of people go through. And it's so strange how you said, y'all act like I said he kicked me in my bag. And I find it ironic that you really said that to your fake sister in that text. You told her he kicked you in your back. I wonder how many people Miss Ma'am played because I'm wondering if she really had her friends thinking that he really abused her and that's what they were going off of going off of or if they was in on this plot with Miss Ma'am. I'm just so I'm just so sick to my stomach that domestic violence is still being played with. People have died behind domestic violence. People are still in domestic violence relationship right now as I make this video and cannot get out or very afraid to get out or have, you know, many reasons why they can't leave, can't afford to leave, afraid to leave, got kids by this person. And not only is it sickening that it's being played with, but it was played with during Domestic Violence Awareness Month. How sick is that? How effing sick is that? And I know a lot of y'all that's riding for her is not going to like the fact that I'm making this video. Because y'all made it clear that y'all was going to take down whomever. I'm standing for domestic violence. So you could try to take down whatever it is you would like to. But know this, everybody that y'all are going after, think about this, everybody clocking a bag from this. If we no longer do videos about Ms. Ma'am, that means we're no longer searching her name. We're no longer going to her page, get, giving her those views. We're no longer doing any of that. So y'all ain't doing nothing but hurting her. Look at the numbers. Look how we all decided, okay, they want to play. It ain't shit to talk about no more anyway, so I'm done. Because I know I said it. But after somebody sent me this, I knew I had to come back and speak. Because I can see she's still playing with domestic violence. But I didn't stop making videos because I was afraid that my page would be taken down. No, sir. No, sir. I stopped making videos because it wasn't shit else to talk about. The only thing... That was interesting to us content creators was her and Robert's divorce and the things that they were going through and the lies that she was telling. That's what we was interested in. Robert is no longer speaking. Everybody done moved on. Everybody done got tired of Miss Ma'am. There is nothing new that she's doing. But taking pictures, photo ops and going to. What what did she do? I don't I don't even remember what she did. But it's nothing interesting enough that we would like to report on. So that's why I stopped reporting. But after this video and the tears, I couldn't take it. I had to come back. Y'all, I tried. I tried to watch it through the tears and the squeezing of the eyes to try to make one drop. I tried. I promise you I did, but I cannot do this. I cannot continue to watch that and report on it. I apologize, but this is too much. And it's hurtful to see that somebody is playing with this. And I'm look, I may come back with a second half another day, but as of right now, I am done. I cannot listen to any more. Well, guys, that's all the commentary I have for now. As always, thanks for watching. I will talk to you shortly. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you can be alerted every time I upload a video. Don't forget to support your Black-owned businesses. Visit our website, NideaSkincare.com.